Bag fuel, baby. Ooh, what's up, S? Bag fuel, we back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, finally, we finally got this dude to sit down on, on this couch, though. Pause. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, nah. This is one of the most elusive Queens niggas since Nasir <laughs> Jones, bro. <laughs> we got and he's Kyle. outside. That's the funny part. Yeah, he's a, he he's not outside. a hermit. He don't, he's not afraid to be outside. You just can't find him. And we got Consequence <laughs> in the building. Queens get Yo. the money. You already know. Yeah, Yo. man. Yeah, yeah. Man. Yeah, so we just going to jump right into it. Pause. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's, 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 How, pause is an essential word in 2020. Now, exactly. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> how you feeling? <laughs> is it is it is it a prerequisite now, man? I mean, you gotta, you know, you definitely gotta um watch the landmines. Watch the landmines <laughs> and and uh fully communicate what side of the gate you you stay on. Exactly. <laughs> Bad for you. That's so, let's start. <laughs> how you feel about uh these younger kids saying why these o- older rap dudes is is Doing, doing, got rap beefs and writing verses to each other. Drama. When, when, when the younger dudes was beefing, everybody was telling them to chill. Hypocrisy is a part of life. Mm. It just is. Um, mm. And um, you know, I think with that comes learning curves, obviously, and you get to you know gain perspective. Uh, I, I know for me, you know, I try to, whenever, I, whenever I'm engaging with the public, I try to put wisdom at the forefront, mm-hmm. right? Um, but w- wisdom and ignorance is like dark and light liquor, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So one or the other going to make your stomach hurt. Okay. Feel me? So... When dealing with entertainment, though, and just and dealing in competition, that's where you get these um, these uh, moments of hypocrisy, right? Because mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. the OGs definitely meant. I, I could say that the OGs meant well in the messaging to the young niggas, like as far okay. as like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, yo, we we did a lot. To kind of pave a, a cash way, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Mm. But then at the same time, there's there's OGs that that lead with emotion and not logic, mm-hmm. right? And so we seen it in the NBA. Think about it. Like there was feelings when Kevin Garnett Kevin Garnett got that that big bag. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because Moses Malone didn't get that big bag. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of um, saying per, you know, it's just a, it was a lot of animosity, jealousy, uh, competitive emotion. So, right, mm. that's how I look at it. Because the thing is, like, if you see, it's it's human nature. If you see somebody doing what you used to do, but reaping without a, without association, okay. without association, mm. right? Because if Let's say artist one comes along in 2023 and he has no affiliation to artist two who was out in 97 or two, uh, 20, uh, 20, uh, 2007. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 20, uh, 2007 or, or 2010, right? He don't owe that artist nothing, technically. But the, 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 the artist who the predecessor may feel like Man, you know what I'm saying? I, I laid the groundwork for guys like that to even catch a bag. You know what I'm saying? And there's no boomerang. There's no spin in the block. You know what I'm saying? It just, you know, and that's a that's emotional because that's not, in my experience, that's not really even how the young dudes be giving it up. They, they'll be like, oh, word. Oh, okay, OG, I ain't even know that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? You can't hold a person responsible for what they don't. No, and what was not told to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, everybody jumping to hip hop at at the time when it's digestible for them. You know what I'm saying? So if a kid is like, so now it's a little earlier because obviously you got smartphones. You know, when 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 I was coming up in the streets, it was like, you know, around I started rapping maybe like 12. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? 12, 13. My son was already, my son rapped now, already been rapping for like Six years, okay. like hard, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So 
you know, with those changes and with those adjustments to life, you know what I'm saying? You got to understand, like, especially for the people who have wisdom, like, how we look and versus what we telling people, you know what I mean? So, I mean, you and Talib going at each other, that's based on competition or is there... No, nah, that's based on he a bitch-ass nigga. But why? But why? But 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 everybody's like I, I live is the you, coolest. Man. But everybody, I'm, I'm gonna say this shit, Khan. Everybody's like, why is Khan's going at Talib? But, Talib is a cool ass okay. dude. He's about to, why? Why is he picking mm -hmm. on this dude right here? That's what it looks First like. First of all, let's be clear. I'm not picking on anybody. I didn't even start this. Mm. This started when Kanye, yay. Went to drink champs, and he got uh, drunk. Mm -hmm. Saucy. Got saucy. You know, well, uh, drunk. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pause. 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 Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he got. He got. He got. He got drunk. He got. He was lit, and he started saying, "I guess what was on his chest." And he said, "He ain't never fuck with quality raps." You know what I'm saying? He produced at least I, at least three records. Four records for Quali, you know what I'm saying? And so that's their relationship. That had nothing to do with consequence. I wasn't there for the, for when Kanye taped it. Um, it wasn't something I said out my mouth. I didn't really, I didn't, prior to that, I hadn't even seen Quali in a minute. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have any uh, misgivings with him. You know what I mean? That happened... Now, understandably so, right? I will say this. When a person um, of the level of influence that Kanye has basically uh, attacks the fiber of your career, that's heavy in the streets. That's heavy in the game. That's heavy online. That's heavy everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And I could understand why Quali was upset. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sure he was getting hit up crazy, like, yo, this nigga, yay, wild on you, son, look. You know what I'm saying? I mean, even when he went to, he, even when he went to Drink Champs with um, Dave Chappelle and Mos Def, they, they all laughed in his face. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Dave Chappelle was like, yo, that shit was one of the best moments in pop history. How your own man sit there and tell you on the mic, yo, when you got roasted by homie, that was one of the best <laughs> moments in pop history. That made Drink Champs legend. Fuck your feelings. He killed Big Big Sean on that same conversation too, didn't he? Right. Yes. Right. So I mean, and, and to that point, I'm sure um, Big Sean felt the super way. Mm. Do you agree with Kanye's thoughts about? I, Talib's raps. I, now that you don't fuck with him anyway, can I get the truth? Do you feel the same way about his raps? I mean, or I, I ate him up every time we ever did anything. Like that's just the truth. I told him that online. I'm like, yo, bro, I always ate your food without question. You know what I'm saying? Like killing season, I ate your food. Um, chain heavy, I ate his food. You know what I mean? I mean, listen. Even engine running. I mean, he asked me to do a joint with him on the first project he did with Mad Lib. I gave it to him. He kind of mimicked what I did, and that was the record. So, and I had no problem with it. I, I you know what I mean? Like, you got to understand me. I, 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 um, I multitask. So, like, and, and as much as I'm an artist, as as much as I'm a songwriter and a producer, mm -hmm. right? So, I don't have my my goal with the studio or music in general is to make the best record. I'm never tripping about um, helping someone mm. or someone, you know, laying a verse first to get the to get the ball rolling with the record or whatever or, or lending lines. I've been doing it since Tribe. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't have no issue with the man. We we was collaborating, so right? But don't subscribe? ever get it fucked up. Don't ever get it fucked up. So like, he started with you first? Is absolutely. What, what did he say? What happened? But you know what's crazy? He got a million <laughs> followers and nobody and everybody's asking me. But what happened? I don't because I don't even know. All I know, all, all I know, all right, I'm gonna tell you what happened. I'm gonna tell you. 
Listen, I, why? Why is that? Because I guess because you got the most publicity because but, but, you was the one that was like, yo, so you did, this, so you, so did so you know why? Because I'm lit, nigga. Because <laughs> I'm lit, but nigga. what did Tyler say? Hold on, let me let me say this, Cons. It's probably one of those things where somebody throws the first punch and you don't see it. You only see the person that oh, retaliates. Oh, throw, throw, uh, and that fuck a punch. He ain't throwing no punch. Do an airplane in class. And the teacher had their back turned. But what right, and the shit Tyler hit me in the head. Like, yo, dog, I'm going to tell you one more time. Don't throw no motherfucking planes at me, nigga. So what's the plane he threw at you then, Cons? He put on his page that I was Kanye Ghostwriter. Is that true, though? That's my business. Okay. <laughs> so when, it's Queens get the it's Queens no it's Queens get the money it's Queens get the money and when you fuck with the money it's Queens get the money and when you fuck with the money you don't fucked up. That's so is that, that's, is that how you feel too? Totally, hundred ten. All right, so then so you would have did the same motherfucking thing, nigga. So yeah, look, I gave him a pass though. I gave him a pass. I was like, yo, you know what? That nigga upset. He need therapy. <laughs> right? That man fucked it. No. This is the nigga, the nigga who told him that is the nigga telling everybody, yo, I'm I'm up a B. Right? Mm. I don't know what quality up letter wise. Mm -hmm. It might be a G, it might be an M, it might be an H. <laughs> you said it might be a it might be a Z. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know what I'm saying? I don't know where his letter game that. So I gave it a pass. I said, you know what, that man upset. And I understand. Like, I understand, listen, I come from I got on through the backpack rappers, right? Mm -hmm. So even with the whole backpack tirade, I ain't really agree with what Ye said because at the end of the day, I was the nigga with the with the slammy in the backpack, mm -hmm. right? Okay. When when, when mm -hmm. this go back, mm -hmm. this is like at this point, college dropout turned twenty this year. You know what I'm saying? So we talking twenty years ago. You know what I'm saying? But 20 years ago, when I was in Queens, bing, bing, binging, and I met that nigga, like, yo, he was doing his one twos with the beats and brown bagging, and yo, yo, come, can you, you know what I mean? He said the same story about Beans. Beans had a slide on the nigga for him. So it ain't like, that, that, was, the, that was the wave at that time. You know what I'm saying? So my thing was just like, yo, but in, in preservation of our relationship, man, I don't, I ain't agree with that statement. Got you. you but do you saying? think he was giving, I felt like he was, he was, Trying to kill Ye for saying, yeah. you talking about my rhyming. I get it. That's why I didn't say nothing. That's why I didn't say nothing. He was but kind of giving you props. I didn't say you. nothing. I didn't say nothing. I didn't know. Nah, nah, but, but bro, I don't want to be involved in y'all one up. Can you understand that? Like, I, I don't got nothing. That. You got, I, I got a relationship to whatever degree as a collaborator with you. I don't, I ain't, been, listen, I be keeping this tall with niggas. Mm -hmm. This, this tall. I ain't been in your crib. I don't know your girl, your your kids, none of that. Mm -hmm. I don't got, don't put me in that, bro. Mm -hmm. You don't know what I'm doing. If that's how, if that, if that's me doing that, is how I feed Kaden, then yo, at the end of the then day. You, you fucking my food right. sauce up. Chill mm -hmm. out. Yo, bro, I'm, but I'm gonna give you a pass on that one because you upset. Because mm -hmm. you might be finished off of that. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I let the shit rock. And then I seen the nigga months later when I pulled up on Chris Rock and Dave Chappelle. And they was test running with what is now they Netflix specials. Mm -hmm. We was in the city. Uh, you know, few a you know, few hip hop community niggas came out to fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? Quali was there as well. After the set, he came, yo, I don't I don't know why yeah, he came at me like that, cons, man. I said, fuck, I love Kanye, bro. Like, he was whimpering about the shit. And I'm like, yo, listen, bro, y'all got your own relationship. And I knew he was going to say something to me about it because I knew he was automatically going to make me Kanye co-defending in that whole situation. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Which is cool because that comes with the bag. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what comes That's with- That's part of the responsibility. That comes with the bag. Yes. So, I right, cool. Listen, I told a nigga straight to his face. No, it wasn't no aggression, wasn't no nothing. Two niggas having a conversation. Yo, bro, you need to get on the phone with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? If that's how you feel about the situation, you need to tell that nigga how you feel and let that be that. You know what I'm saying? If you don't really, because you coming to me like you don't even want no smoke. He got Kanye number no more. <laughs> Come on, cuz. He ain't just, he ain't just calling up. Yeah, ain't one of them niggas. You just gonna so call yeah, so, so, so my thing is this, though. So if that's the case, if that's the case, if that's right. the case, which I don't, I don't know. I don't know if that is the case or not. I'm just talking shit. I don't know if that is the case or not. But, I mean, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's a few niggas even around that if he, um. Put the 
put the word out. Yeah. It made it made the right case. Niggas would have got on the phone and it would have facilitated. Yeah. And and but, they could have had that conversation. But you want to make the right case for the nigga that shit. So a nigga shit on you publicly, and then you gotta make the right case to talk to niggas to get him. You to ain't gotta do nothing. You ain't call. gotta do nothing. You ain't gotta see this my he thing. He could have just kept stepping, but he's not from Queens, is he? Who is who's from Queens? Tyler's not from no, Queens, right? Nah, he's from Park so, Slope. All right, so he ain't keep stepping. Now, <laughs> that, that, that's why, yo, that's why he ain't keep stepping. I appreciate it's you, cuz. Yeah, he didn't yeah. say Brooklyn, he said Park Slope. <laughs> you nigga, good nigga, bro. The nigga was from he Queens. He said Brooklyn. He said, that's like saying he's from Bayside. Yeah. <laughs> you never said Queens, he's from Bayside. He's from Park So Brooklyn nigga's like, oh. Yo, <laughs> yo, 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 while I'm here, shout out to that bitch ass nigga from Cunningham Park, but let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> What's the resolution though, Cons? Is there any resolution to that? Once we got beef, we got beef forever. Understood. So what what's up with your shit? So you got beef with Talib because of Ye, but don't you got a little beef with Ye too? Where you get that from? I I'm asking. I'm 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 out, you know, I am out here in the world, bro. So I so when people come to me that, oh, you, you gonna have cons on the joint, I think cons got a little shit going on with Ye himself. I'm on the streets. You can my never, nigga. you can never compare my relationship with with Kanye, with Ye, mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. that of a quality. I'm saying it's just not the same dynamic. Okay. Even if me and Ye have an issue or had an issue or any of that, it's never, it's never in compare. It can never be spoken in the same breath. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The, the I've been to Kanye's house, every house. I've been around. His children. He's been around my children. My son and his older kid, the, the two older ones, you know, been vibing for years. They, they even with the whole, with North rapping and Caden rapping, Caden started the wave. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And it's just real. You know what I mean? So it's never, I've, I've you know, it's never like Kim Kardashian is the person who found me a doctor during uh, when I got diagnosed initially, like mm-hmm. so, this not, I don't uh, DJ EQ, Quali ex wife didn't do anything for me, mm-hmm. you know, no disrespect to her, but you know what I mean. At the end of the day, this just is not parallel. Gotcha. Kim, like diagnosed. I don't want to get into, but like I was diagnosed with lupus mm-hmm. uh, in 2020, and I didn't know what was going on because you obviously it was COVID, was the pandemic was yeah. going on, and um. So New York was shut down, and she found me a private doctor because I was I was I was going through it. Mm-hmm. You know Yo, I mean? Kim does a lot of stuff behind the scenes. She gets dragged through the mud a lot, but she hold it down for the niggas, bro. <laughs> I ain't gonna I mean, Yo, I ain't gonna shit comes Yo, for what she did with I Max B. There's a lot of shit she do. I mean, you know, she gets dragged through the mud. It's it's <laughs> it's funny because um, mm. you know, um, I never, you know. Obviously, they've they they're now divorced. Yeah, that's true. And um, it's, it's touchy from that standpoint. It's, it's it's touchy, and mm-hmm. you know, you know, Ye has wanted me to show a hundred percent loyalty to him, which I feel like I have. No, you're doing it right now. You still. know what I'm saying? But I also, you know, no, 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 no. <laughs> he don't, don't say nothing good no. about Kim. Okay. No. Don't right. say don't say right. Kim helped you with right. your lupus, nigga. Right. Right. Don't big her up. Right. Who right. you talking right. about? You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Nah. If I ask you about right. Kim, I refrain the right. answer, nigga. Right. I understand the assignment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right, right, right. He want he 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 he. What, what? I mean, he said it out loud. Like you know, nobody spoke up when they, she was ke- keeping the kids from him and all that. And I don't, mm. I, I did though. I don't agree with that. I mean, you know, that's. Maybe one of the Esso the, spoke up for that too. He said, "I don't know Kanye, so it doesn't matter." Listen, that's true. That's that's true. Listen, for him. He, he don't he care about me. He's one of the few dudes that gave. He don't care about because me. I don't have a child. Right. But one thing Esso said is, "It's a wave when your kid lives with you, right. and he's suffering from not having yeah. to live with his child." And that hit a lot of dudes. And did not see oh, him. Yeah. Yeah. But, 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 mm-hmm. as a nigga who went through it first, mm. right? This was my thing. You got to be accountable for your own actions. Now, I mean, gotcha. when I went through what I, me and my son's mother are not together, she's mm-hmm. moved on, I moved on. I didn't call none of my niggas talking about, yo, why you ain't do this and why you ain't do that to my baby mother. You know what I mean? 
It ain't no. I'm from Queens. Yeah. That ain't no other nigga business. Business. But, but to that be fair, ain't no other nigga business. Ain't no fair. No, it ain't no nobody other knew nigga you was business. going through that though. It's because it ain't nobody business. That's, okay. <laughs> Cause it ain't nobody over. business. Game over. You know what I mean? It wasn't nobody business when I was getting when I got when I but, got with but, the joint. But but he's more in a public eye, and his joint is 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 is, is, is super duper public. And then for a long time, yeah, everybody's but, in they business. Like yeah, but you but you gotta penalties. but but you gotta holler. Mm. But you gotta holler. You gotta holler. Ain't nobody jumping out the motherfucking sky, nigga. You know how crazy nigga be looking going at her. You know what I'm saying? In, in full transparency. Unless, like, now, if you say, yo, I need you to do something, then we had a different conversation. Mm. But if you think, just on an arm. Because what if y'all get back together and that happens? Right, right. Then, I, then I'm on the outside. Right, right. Then you the nigga. <laughs> right. I'm on the outside, man. You the nigga. You on the outside. Kid, you the nigga skydiving and hit the ground. It wasn't no parachute, bro. No. <laughs> Shit just cracked. Yeah. What, what's it like when you and Kanye are speaking and people are killing him in the news because you're not one of the dudes that's going to hold back in your friendship? Do you be like, yo, yeah, I think you should chill here? And that's just talking from a man-to-man right. -man perspective, I mean, not I, I, mean, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, um, in good times when everything is, you know, everything is everything, I mean, I, I give him wisdom. I give him what I, my perspective. Um, and a lot of times that shit, it's rooted in 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 com street street morals and, and common sense. Are you a five percenter? No, I'm a Muslim. A Muslim, I'm a All right? Because I know because they because they, they marry each other kind of a little bit, right? Um, not you know, exactly. No, not in, exactly? in theory, in in struggle, in struggle, in perception, yeah, because okay. it's black, uh, it's or it's non-European, mm -hmm. but. The difference between a Muslim and a five percenter is a, a Muslim acknowledges that there's only one creator, mm -hmm. where a five percenter feels like they embody God. That, yeah, okay. which, you know, I mean, is the same thing as it's idolating. So it's like, in just just in as easiest terms as possible, then Santa Claus, then you, Santa Claus is a five percenter because mm -hmm. he an idol. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, the Easter Bunny is an idol. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, so I think a lot of what had to do with five percent in America um, came from the came from inequality, and then there's a compensation of saying, "Well, no, you know, because the white man has robbed us uh, historically, and we have the natural gifts and the nat and the, and the natural resources." Then that must mean we are, and that must mean God lives within. But in Islam, um, which is a religion that's privy to any person, mm -hmm. um, it's the acknowledgement of of the existence of life itself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how and how life came about because there has to be a creator. We all on the planet. We all are human beings. We all have blood. There's no that there, I can't. I I can't be God if I can't actually manufacture semen. Pause. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or manufacture birth. You know what I'm saying? When I say that, like like really literally be the creator. The, the creator of when an egg and and a and a and, and a semen hit. Like mm -hmm. I I there's you no man that can do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So then you have to resonate with the most high. You know what I'm saying? Um so that's the difference. Do you think you get the credit as an MC because of all the stuff that you did, like you write for people, tribe, you, tribe, call quest. I, I, I don't even people. I don't even think people correlate you as being a member of tribe or understanding what that meant. Because yeah, I got, I got to the bag. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> I got to the bag, and it, you know. It's but do you think you get your credit as a, as a lyricist? Um, if you ask TransUnion and Equifax, I do because my credit score is 800. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's all really, that matters. Uh, what else matters? But let me ask you this, Con. <laughs> we we did an eight bar with you and your son. Right. Your son is super young, and and I can see how you you're influencing his rhyme. Not to say you're writing, but you're you're his father. I am. Right. Uh, understood. But also now we're seeing a younger generation where being lyrically inclined is not the wave currently right now. Well, he my son actually is 
do a bandit. He rap, he do drill records, and uh, you're you're yeah. okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine with it. Yeah, why would, I, I be, why would I? Why would I? Why would let I me have, ask you this thing. Let me let me just okay. say this. Why would I have a problem with drill when I didn't have a problem with Onyx? When I when I when I, when I say this to people, they think I'm bugging. I'm like everybody talking about drill. We had mad. We had gangster first, rap. Yeah. We had throw your guns in the air. Right. We had two uh, two pot. Nobody wanted to make you rob a nigga more than two pot with his angry son, rap. I showed my son um, Onyx because mm. um, when he first started wanting to do it, I mean, because this is the, in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a reference. The reason for the reference is this: because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's self expression. That's what hip hop is. If you really understand hip hop, you understand that it's self expression. Self expression, and self expression doesn't have, um, you can't inf enforce your, your parameters on someone who's, ex who's experiencing and choosing to self-express, right? So when you had Onyx, you know what I'm saying, even at the time, you know, they was working at Gersh Mall mm -hmm. at New Tribe or whatever the case is, and, um... They wanted to show what uh, Onyx was a hyper extension of what was actually going on in Queens at the mm -hmm, time. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? 93, 92, 91, all that. Mm -hmm. You know, when the box was on and all that, yo, the streets was alive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so fast forward in the cycle of life, how things 360, now we're here. And you have that, maybe all right, so now it's not Southside Queens, now it's the Bronx. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's the expression of being in the hood. It's the expression of the ghetto. And that is our reparation. And so the thing is, instead of maybe um, looking at it from a negative lens, look at it with, with, with the tool of guidance. All right, cool, you want to do that? Then let's figure out how to expand it or blow it out or, you know what I'm saying, and, and filter it so we get the best of everything um, because at the end of the day, if it's the reparation, you have to expand it so that it it, it, it goes to the next tier. But it needs collaboration for that. And nobody's collaborating. Um, I, I wouldn't say that. I, mean, I wouldn't say that. I think, I think and especially, like, you got to understand, like, the thing about hip-hop is that the whole genre is 50, just turned 50, going into 51, mm -hmm. right? So then even with Drill, Drill's been around a couple of years. It's not been around 100 years where it's just like, this is the this is etched in stone. This is how this goes. It's like- The blueprint's happening in real time. It's happening in real time. So, so you know, we can't apply the, you can't apply the same rules to that as you would to like the finished product of Death Row. It's- uh, D cover was first. We didn't get the gin and juice to for a minute. Well, I, we gonna get there though. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get the dads are corrupt. We gonna get to all that. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But it has to, it has to be allowed to 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 roll out. You talk about getting to the bag, which is very important on backfield. Of of course. If your son decided to water down his lyricism, but he's getting to the bag and it, it becomes generational, would that be okay with your integrity? I think there's a way to do both. It's proven. I did it with Kanye West. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a way to, to make it accessible, accessibly good. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like... Cause that's all watered down. Is water when you watering it down. It's just so that more can consume it, right? Mm -hmm. So I think there's a way to and, and con, more to consume it is just making it more accessible, right? Or oh, I could get with this, right? Um, I just think that there's a way. I just think that's you have to just you have to um, have patience with the process. Are we gonna see a Father child collabo where it's you, Caden, Kanye, and North on a record. Could be. Come on, I know y'all recorded it. Don't it, it could be. It could ooh. be. You gotta stay tuned. Ooh, you gotta baby. stay tuned. We got See, some, we in the we, we, up, we, we in the cut. With things like that with your son, are you thinking about marketing him? Or are you just thinking that great records is the beginning and we'll go from there? No, nah, he's marketable. Yeah. No, I didn't say he's marketable. I said no, that. everything is marketing. I mean, I mean, I'm not tooting my own horn because that's my son. But my son is is a handsome dude. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he, his swag 
is engaging, mm-hmm. you know. And so, yeah, we looking to do a lot, you know. What I mean, we, we, you know, we in addition to our own merch, you know, he's, you know, he was on the on my way to a last. Uh, uh, some of that just passed. We he did that and sold out all his merch or whatever the case is. Mm-hmm. Um, so the, his demo love him, and so mm-hmm. yeah, we want to put product with that. You know what I mean? That's the name of the game. We not just in a just rapping uh uh era at this point. Like the 360 is dominant, and so we as far as one on two records is concerned, yeah, Caden is 360 mania. So how, I mean? how, how were you choosing to 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 market him though? Because what I find out from the older rappers, right? There's no station for them to be played, right? right. So then the stations here, when you're dealing with Power 105, and you're dealing with Hot 97, they don't necessarily want to play a kid on there neither, I mean, right? So it's a it's a loss. Like yeah, but radio, what, what but radio. Let's be real though. To? But let's be real. Radio at this point is a validation. Of, of is a validation based on prestige. Radio is not the first step for anybody, let alone a, a kid. You know what I'm saying? The first step for a, a young artist is digital content. You know what I'm saying? That's where, because everybody's phone is on at this point. You know what I'm saying? People are tuned. First of all, you know, I, I, you know, Caden's been on the radio. He's, he's, you know, he had, you know, Power on Five been playing well. Step on, it, you know what I mean? Um, Juicy stepping on it, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, you know what I mean. But that and that's great. You know what I'm saying? We need that. We love that. But what? Why? Why people come up to me? I was in Brooklyn Chop House the other day. Person I never met. Yo, and I'm filming in there, and they like, yo. Your his son is amazing. You understand? That's from the phone. That's not really from the radio. You know what I'm saying? So as far as like direction and marketing and publicity and promotion, we tearing the phones up. That's what we doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because every time you turn the phone, my son is lit. You know what I'm saying? Um, And so when we get to the big radio record, It'll all make sense anyway, because at the end of the day, he's laid the grassroots for substance. You know what I mean? It's not like one shot out and then, you know, he can't rap. He's he like he did he did a bar. He's doing. Uh, we got on the radar coming up, probably around uh, either simultaneously when this drop or maybe right shortly after. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, you know his um. We building it with him. I'm building a legend, mm. and you know we've I mean? seen it in real time, right? And mm-hmm. it's, it's literally, literally, literally building a legend. Like people can backtrack um, and say, "Man, I remember when I first seen Caden do boo 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 boo," and like just how the progression of everything, as far as like just even like enunciation and and swag, and him coming into his own, and now he gets sturdy and pop pop pop. You know what I mean? It's 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 the joy of my life. Mm. You know what I mean? That's why I wouldn't even did nothing to Kwali if he wasn't a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> Yo, where do you get this chip on your shoulder from? I don't have no chip on my shoulder. That's the truth. He's no, a bitch ass nigga. No, but because <laughs> I remember um, when, when you Let went. Me, we you know what? We never even finished why. Though, okay. Uh, right? We're going to circle back. <laughs> we'll circle back because like, we left it open. We left it open ended. We left it open ended. Right. You know what I'm saying? So. I said to you that he put me on the page, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then fast forward, um, Kanye had the controversy with the White Lives Matter shirt, mm-hmm. right? Quali jumped out. That was his opportunity to get even with Ye. See, I told y'all he woo, 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 right? So first of all, let me explain why he a bitch ass nigga. Because if you came to me and you said, I love Kanye, but as soon as it was an issue, you wanted to take issue. You wanted to get your. You wanted to get your lick in. Then you was. Then what you said to me was insincere, right? Mm. So just say we got beef when you see me face up, nigga. Fuck your man and what you want to do. Cause then we could just get the bottles popping, bro. Maybe he don't want to do that. 
I because he's a bitch ass nigga. <laughs> maybe he just don't want confrontation. Nah, maybe he a bitch ass nigga. Maybe he's a. This is what it looks like when you go off. All maybe, right? nah, maybe, maybe he a bitch ass nigga. Maybe, maybe he's pro black and about peace yeah, and love. Yeah, word. And trying and try to settle right, it cool. in a more in maybe a more I, diplomatic and maybe fashion. Maybe I'm from one eye two and I don't give a fuck about that. I. Right? But maybe he Sounds wants to like sell from it. One, circle one three zero. <laughs> maybe he wants to sell it in a more diplomatic fashion. Is well, anything well, wrong by, with that? By, by, by He's an older on, man. By, maybe by he going, don't want to go by, fight by, and do it a lot. Nah, but what he I'm tired. saying is, no, you missing the point. What I'm mm. saying is, <laughs> if you don't want no smoke, don't play with matches. Is that Plain what, and simple. But how like, you yo, play with a match if Kanye cause, 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 started it and he got emotional about it? Let me finish then. Let me finish. So he go do that. Cool. That's still between him and Kanye. That don't got nothing to do with me. Yeah. Right? That's you. I ain't get I ain't get on his page and be like, yo, what the fuck is you doing? We was talking. I ain't do none of that. Right? So then here go the here go the snake move. <laughs> Two things. So he arguing with a nigga, random nigga in the comment section, and nigga tell that nigga, yeah, that's why you DJ Chicken Fingers. Consequence called you out on drink champs. Who told the fuck you out? Who told you I was DJ Chicken Fingers? Oh, consequence did. Oh, and you, you ain't gonna do nothing about that. And nigga was like, who told you I was scared of consequence? And he added me. I'm like, all right, now you starting the car, right? He said you start the car. Now you starting the car. You starting the car. <laughs> That's what you do, too. That's it. Now no you starting the car. Remember how you said dudes be hypocritical? You look at your when, they, when they at my name, I change. <laughs> yeah, you start. All right, so all that's what I'm telling you. So let me finish. I ain't gonna lie. Let me, let me change. Because so, so, you man. want me to see it. Yeah. That's yeah. how I gotta take that's it. That's how I look at it too. You want me to see it's it? Like, it's like you challenging me now. Right. You want me to so see it? So when you add my name, I, I do. Right. I, I go straight to your mother, nigga. Like I'm, 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 right, I'm, I'm leaping. But so, so he starts the car. Yeah. So you start the car. <sighs> this nigga don't know what he about to get himself into. Cause I'm not yay, bro. I'm not yay. I'm not yay. I write for yay. Mm. Right. Mm. Yeah. He told everybody. That. You told everybody that. <laughs> you told everybody that. So. So, and no, this is this is this is not a slight to Yay at all. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to the streets, I'm me. I'm cons, nigga. Win, lose, draw. I'm me, nigga. And we gonna do it, bro. We gonna do it. I promise you that, nigga. You got one more. There's only three strikes in baseball, beloved. What about leaving room for a nigga to make a mistake, I, huh? nigga? I don't, I don't, I'm not looking niggas for, I'm not niggas, looking for tenants. Niggas don't allow. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. He said you niggas, can't pay rent. Yo, yo, I'm not looking for tenants. Yo, why in my hip hop world yo, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't I'm leave. not looking for tenants. But why we can't leave room for a nigga to make I'm a mistake? I'm not looking for tenants. You're not making a mistake when you at me, bro. You should know that. You just said I'm it. I'm trying, yo. I'm doing the job. I'm working. All right, cool. So let me cook. So then a producer, a producer from his podcast reached out to me saying, hey, at the same time, now mind you, you just added me. Kanye got the White Lives Matter shirt mm. controversy. So whatever is going on with that, me and him dealing with that one up, one up talking about it with the George Floyd comment, all mm. that, right? So then, like I said, the producer reached out to me, like, yo, you want to come on uh, uh, whatever his shit is, right? You know what, nigga? You know what, nigga? I will come on there. Nah. Oh. (laughs) That's you. The car started. I'm not going on shit, nigga. I'm going on my page. Mm. And we're going to get the fucking party started for real, nigga. And that's what I did. I said, look at this shit right here, y'all. This bitch ass nigga think he gonna line me, have me on his podcast like I'm that nigga. Nigga, you know who the fuck you playing with, bro? Like, I'm not playing with you. What if he was trying to have you up there to Yo, make asshole, peace? Can you please stop? This is what you look like. <laughs> and then you gonna do this but shit. But I'm just asking no, questions. No, 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 no. Fuck this. What Yo, if he cops. wanted to make peace? Sometimes when you, you look at like yourself an, in the you mirror. You're talking to me like an industry nigga. Yo, exactly. When you look you're at yourself like in the mirror. You're talking to me like an industry nigga, bro. You're talking to me like an industry nigga, bro. You're talking to me like an industry nigga, bro. Yo, listen. He was asking me. I'm not even offended. I'm just telling you. You're talking to me like an industry nigga. But y'all saying this, right? But niggas ask me 
the same questions. So that's why I'm asking somebody else. So when you that's say, fair. so when you say it looks like me, I'm asking the same questions because mm. niggas ask me this shit. So I'm not I, being I, I on the street. I'm just that. asking. I ain't around for that. I'm talking about. I'm telling you. 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 Though. Look, I understand. I understand that. All I'm saying to you is this. But he doesn't seem like a confident. I'm saying this. Let's keep it real. But you don't care. He doesn't seem like a confrontational then, nigga. Maybe you're not tuned into what he's been doing online no, for the I'm last not. 18 months. And that's fair. And but he in, blocked in, you. But, in, ignor- but in, in ignorance, right, I'm telling you, yo, the nigga been on one for a minute, right? It ain't been about no music with the kid. It ain't been about none of the lyricist lounge, the whatever the case is, the man... The man, when he made, when Kanye made the remark about the man, it devastated the man. He could say what he want. It did. You know what I mean? It devastated the man and a and a glitch hit in the nigga, right? And, but he not like that. You feel me? So at the end of the day, you playing a game that you really can't win. And you don't, you got forced into it, right? By, by. He could have ignored it. This what he could have did. He could have ignored no, no, it. This no. what he could have did. I want to hear this. This what he could have did. He could have been the MC that everybody think he is and addressed it. Mm. And he could have put that man in the cooker. And if that man would have had to come to me, saw this, that, and the third, whatever the case, or just do it himself. It ain't like Kanye don't write, write no raps. Mm-hmm. And that's why I told him. I was like, you really don't want it with that nigga. Don't get that ghostwriting shit twisted. Niggas is doing music business, bro. Yeah. But my, it ain't like... It ain't like yay no slouch on the mic like that's what that's a misconception that mm. I will clear up on his on on his behalf. Like yo, at the end of the day, that nigga can rap. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't have fucked with no nigga who can't rap. Mm-hmm. Now, if us joining forces make it stronger, then then we then we going Great for the music. chip. Mm-hmm. Then we going for the chip, and we play for the chip, and that's the difference. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas got it confused as if. We don't pull up for the chip. We pull up for the chip, bro. You know what I'm saying? So when you sitting there kicking that shit because you hurt, you 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 trying to framework it as if niggas don't get busy. Every nigga on good music a get quality the business. You know what I'm saying? Don't get nothing fucked up, bro. You know what I'm saying? But because he thought, yo, you know what I'm saying? I represent this part of the culture. You know what I'm saying? So automatically, it puts me in 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 a certain seat. It don't, bro. It don't. I, I think it cr- don't because because mm. like I said, once it kicked off, then it was like, oh, this nigga consequences really at this nigga, nigga. You got it twisted because I'm a team player. Mm. You know what I'm saying? If I do me, you done, my nigga. Which is why we where we at right now. I, I feel like that when 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 he put your name up there, he thought he was exposing Kanye. But like you said, what people don't understand is this is the music business. Everybody collaborates with everybody. Mm-hmm. When when somebody was as hot and still popular as a Kanye is, you don't have time to do music like you was able to it's do. It's not even it. that. It's not even that. It's not even that. It's not even that. It's not that. It's is somebody is someone projecting a dated concept? The concept is the, the what makes the concept dated is the fact that you're actually assuming that niggas aren't going for the win. Niggas are going for the win. Mm-hmm. That's why there was any Quentin Miller with Drake. It's not that Drake can't rap. He was going for the, for the W, win. bro. Mm-hmm. Because you have your way of doing things, right? Think mm-hmm. about even quality, like your best records are collaborations, but you just don't have strong collaborators. Mm-hmm. That's the issue. Gotcha. Your strongest collaborator is most deaf and high tech, most right? Yeah. You don't have no young niggas whipping. So either you're gonna either you're gonna dedicate your life to this shit, or you're gonna be out by default. Cause that's the game, nigga. Mm. You can't beat energy, nigga. You can't. You can't beat energy, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if you ain't got no new energy, bro. You out of here. You, yeah, I'll talk to you later, my nigga, respectfully. I think all Quali would have to do was just play that Jay-Z line where he said, lyrically, I wish I was Talib Quali. If he had just played that on his gram, 
conversation done. That's an old line. But I still hove. It's still, it's an old line, bro. It could have helped for the public, though. I, yeah, I mean. Mm. It could have helped help the fight. I mean, and I'm not, and listen. It could have helped the fight. It could have helped the fight. It ain't going to win you the fight, because that's another nigga saying it. I mean, but if Con, uh, I you, mean, I, you, I, I, I get where you're coming from, Cons. We, we, we're listen, just working it out listen, in real time. Listen, listen, I understand Jay's influence on everybody. Mm-hmm. I've been here. I've been You've here. You've seen it. I've been here. I met Jay at the Gavin in 95. You understand? Jay, Jay, when I left, when I when I left a lecture, Jay and Dame, ironically, told Q said, "We'll bring, we'll put him on a rock." I basically ended up on a rock anyway because of Kanye. So they, you that's felt, the facts. You felt like they should have had you on Rockefeller earlier on. Or? No, they wanted to have me on Rockefeller. So what was the holdup? I didn't do the. I I, I didn't want to do the the deal with Q Tip. Oh, okay. The, I wanted to move on because if we didn't work, why would I go fuck with them and try to work again with you? Right. It didn't make any sense. Cock. And so I just wound up having a fresh start with them later, though. Mm. Inadvertently through Kanye. How about, how about now, that you, and, I, and I never knew that, how about in hindsight as who you are right now, Do you, knowing the business, do you think that you could have went to Rockefeller and would have worked because Tip wouldn't have had to be so involved with your shit. He would have just been trying to I think bring you over there to make money off of you still. Uh, nah, it wouldn't have worked at that time. You know what I'm saying? Because it just, w- I don't think it would have worked. That's why I didn't do it. I didn't think it was going to work. His, you, you got to be in that, you got to be. But did you have me the to knowledge do- then that hmm? you have now? No. And you were so, super so young I'm, saying, back I'm, then. I'm talking about with right. the knowledge now. With the knowledge now? Do you think that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying then at the time, but with the knowledge now, knowing the I can't true say, size of I business. can't say that with the knowledge now. LL album that Q-Tip did isn't even out yet. So I can't say that that would have happened. Mm. That's just me being real. Like but For the last Tribe album, how did you get the call? Like, when did you get the call? Like, when did that happen? How long did it take? Um, mm-hmm. I got the call. Now... Q-Tip and I's working relationship, it, 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 you know, we have, our, we, have, we have our pockets, right? Mm-hmm. So at that time, um, you know, we were, we, were, um, we were connected. You know what I'm saying? We were connected heavy. Um, he had just done a record with me on my EP where he did the chorus. I had an EP out at the time called Good Comeback Story. I had uh, a joint with Lupe Fiasco, like one of the first records that was on uh, Rap, Rap Caviar. Um, and, um, me, the record that Q-Tip and I did actually, I made like the most def one of the big playlists or whatever. So we were, we were connected and then, um, we had all, High 97 had the first like winter jam joint at, uh, at the Prudential Center in Newark and Busta closed out and had, um, all, everybody from Tribe came and leaders of the new school. So that's how we closed it out. So like. Fife was there, Jerobi was there, Ali was there, Tip and myself. We all was on stage. It was like the first time we ever, all five of us, and Buster. You know what I'm saying? Because essentially, like native tongue. Well, tribe. Tribe. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like tribe. Like because Buster's always kind of been like uh, a member, a honorary member. Tribe. You know, I, I, I. So, um, shortly after that, Fife passed away. And um, Q-Tip called me before Fife died to tell me he was he only had a few weeks to live, and um, that's essentially where you know everything kind of turned into like you know it was you know to turn it back into family. You know what I'm saying? Because you know it's it's just hard to manage that kind of relationship with a brand. You know what I mean? Um, it's not easy. It's just a, it's, just, it's it's a lot to it. So, but you know, obviously, for when Fife passed, it was like it's a blow. You know what I'm saying? And um, and so essentially, uh, that's how that's how the last album really they because they kind of had started it, and I was just doing me. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really. Even really, I, I thought it was a good idea for them four to do it. Honestly, you know what I'm saying. I, you know, because I felt like I had been in, done that, and I also felt like with the tribe fans, 
there was always like either this love hate relationship with me mm. and I, I just didn't really feel like it was warranted but I understood it because of the lack of communication as far as my association, association and, why, and, and why. being ushered into like, it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was like out of nowhere. It was like member, not member. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, so it was like, yo, y'all just do y'all. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, let's see how current, but then Fife died. Mm -hmm. And then so um, because of all the things that I had been doing in the industry, though, at that point, Tip was like, yo, I need your help. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because uh, initially it was just to help with like, um, because Kanye was supposed to join the group for the, well, they had a conversation about Ye joining the group once Fife died to like really make the last Tribe album uh, a, a, an event. And um, so with that, you know, then Tip hit me, reached out to me and told me the conversation. He's like, what you think? I was like, yeah, that could be. That could be major, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you know, Ye was fresh off of Pablo, the tour was popping and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, everything was sell selling out. And I was just like, I, what I told Tip was like, I was, I was like, I think you should do some merch with Ye, though, because the Pablo pop-up shops was doing like a million in Soho. Mm. I was like, yo, you need to do something like with, with the Benita shit with him or Fashion Nova, you know what mm. I'm saying? And so eventually I wound up running the, the Tribe merch for two years, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um... Just off of the, the off of that conversation that sparked everything, and then so then that's pretty much we was you know those communications led to me basically like rejoining the group for the last album because I was just like I right, you know what I'm saying and I didn't once again another thing was just like I didn't intend on rapping on more than one or two joints you know what I'm saying but because of the my pen was on fire at the time you know what I'm saying I was going through like. A bunch of shit, and I just had came off the EP, so I was just, I was cooking, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so everything, like, from writing to, you know, I was even, you know, Jerobi was probably, like, the least experienced rapper, mm -hmm. MC, part of the project, you know what I'm saying? So even when I'm, like, you know, just like, yo, hit it like this, bro, boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. at the time, we was, you know, at that time, we was all right, we, we ain't really fucking around like that, though. Who are you, 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 you and Jerobi? Nah. Tribe Tours was always monumental. Would you ever consider, like, if they wanted to go on tour, even doing five spots for the tour? We did that. We did that in um 2000. Um, you did a whole tour doing that? Nah, you know. That's what I'm tip, saying. Tip cut that, but Tip cut that short. We only did, like, seven shows. I, so it wouldn't be that because uh, we would have still been on the road right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't have been like... Nah, I'm good. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I would, niggas still would have took the bag and he didn't want to do it no more. So it's that's not even a, a hypothetical because we kind of, we did it and nah, that's it. You've been associated with a lot of greatness, though. <laughs> Tribe Car Quest is great. Q-Tip's considered great. Kanye's considered great. What is about your sauce that has that has all these great people wanting to bring you in and having you involved because it's a lot of talented people. It got to be more than just the talent. What is it about you that got, got niggas wanting to fuck with you? I mean, well, you said the key word is sauce. Chemistry. You know Maybe he's the the key to everybody, con the connective chemistry. We've seen it with other businesses. When we're not around or pe a piece is missing, it's never the same. And in hip-hop, dudes don't appreciate chemistry. Real shit. They'd be like, ah, we could plug and play somebody else in. And you sometimes can't. it works, but you got to be so great. I'm really good at what I do. Bang. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm not saying that in arrogance. I'm really good at what I you do. You understand who you, you are? You know what I'm saying? I, I understand who I am. I understand who others are. You know what I mean? And that's a major part of the chemistry. It's like, I'm able to extract my own positioning for the good of uh, uh, the, the, the body. greater good the for greater the body good. for the people. You know, like individual sacrifices have to be made to attain greater good, right? Yeah. Um, and I've been able to do that. Um, but it doesn't mean I'm not that nigga. It, it actually mm. means I am that nigga. Like, I'm that nigga who can actually sit here and be like, yo, you know what? In order to get this done, we got to put this to the side for two seconds. You know what I'm saying? And really get to the, and really get to the bag and really get to the 
get to the final product. You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, it's, it's, it's that. It's the sauce. It's the, it's the wherewith. You know what I'm saying? It's the sensibilities. You know what I mean? It's, it's not just rapping. It's understanding like, you know, oh, we got Anderson Pack at the crib working on a joint, you know what I'm saying? And nobody can figure out the lines. All right, well, yo, I, here, th- write, oh, I write R&B too. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Do that and then end up writing a rap for Anderson Pack on uh, the Oxnard album. It's, it's real. I, I, don't, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I just don't, I, I, I'm here to win. You know what I'm what saying? What about your mental strength, though? Like, how, like you've dealt with a lot of controversy. You dealt with reality TV. I was going to ask people you about broke it. down. What's up with the mental strength? How how are you always moving forward? Do you pay attention to it? How the fuck do you deal with this shit and just keep pressing forward like nothing's going on? I'm a Queens nigga. That's the answer. Cons, any plans to do reality television? Because the last time I saw you, you and Joe Button went at it. And that was... Are are y'all good? Is that... is Well, to answer the first question, I don't even know if that's a... I don't... I mean, I think... uh, I would do TV, obviously. I would do movies. I would do sync licensing. I don't... I just don't... You know, it's... It just depends. What I'm looking forward to doing is actually doing a documentary on my career. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I'm looking forward to doing that. That's a lane that I would like to, that's a project I would like to in, in, delve into. A, yeah, dive into um, for 2024, 2025, God willing. Um, but reality TV, I just don't, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I just kind of feel like I, I did it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I did it. I don't, I don't want to be Bud Bundy and be typecast into that kind of um that's real shit right really. into a, in that type, that kind of character um I feel like every season is a new season like an NBA season so I feel like you don't want to just be you got to play to win you know what I'm saying so you don't want to just be oh he's spinning the block for I mean I couldn't I love hip hop I don't you know I think it's just for people like I, I I don't know if I even if I went back on there would I ever do anything that was wilder than the shit I did already like I mean I mean you know what I mean like I'm just being I mean, honest just like just not being wild I mean nah that, but it is it's wild yeah but you was a trendsetter on it because even when and and the, the people don't take this shit the the wrong way and everything you was the first nigga getting your teeth done. That's yeah, I remember fact. on on TV. And so niggas was killing you for that. So, so whether niggas crack and jokes. And everyone does it. Everybody gets say, mine is done, nigga. The yep. Shit, Mine's done. He got his teeth done. Like, we all met up. I said, yep. yep, the first day. And he was oh, in man. pain. You didn't even. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I was I mean, in pain. I got my teeth done. I said, I said, yo. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, it's funny. That's because it's like, it's like, that was pain for me because it's like, that wasn't mm. never like something. I think people think that, you know, I just automatically just. That's one thing that I never really liked how, you know, because it was a lot of, there's a lot of backstory to even my, my dental situation. Oh, okay. Cases. It's not like, mm-hmm. um, I didn't really, you know, I had the bag, right? So I had the bag and one of my joints hereditarily is, was crooked. You know what I mean? And um, that's why I like, even on the chase, I'm like, the crooked tube bandit, it never got straight, whatever I said in the chase mm-hmm. part too. Um, um, and so, you know, you know, I had the opportunity to do something, but I didn't really know what I was doing. Damn. It's like, it's like, it's like getting the first, it's like for a woman getting like the first ass That's- BBL, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so, yeah, shit be looking like an ant later, because <laughs> you was like the guinea pig. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and and it hurt, bro. That's why I, I wanted to know. Yeah, that that shit, shit. That's the one thing in in the game that that probably hurt was niggas hitting me off about that shit because I feel like it discredited my talent a lot of times. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I never looked at it. I never uh, even thought about it like that. I felt like that. I felt like that. I felt like you know what I mean. And that's why I had to go. You know, I got you know I came up again, and I was like, nah, I got really. I had to. I went to a black doctor. I went to somebody who really sat with me for a while and, um, you know, really got these shits to where, you know, proportionately yeah. they um, they don't give that kind of shit on camera no more. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, you know, other than that, my shit is white, healthy, and all that shit, but it was just like, 
you know, I'm working with an overbite and this and that. And mm-hmm. it's just like, you know, so I literally, you know, I had took a little time off after uh, Donda and this was like, yo, I got to get my shit right, man. Because mm-hmm. it's like every time I do something, even if it's right or wrong, somebody uses that as my Achilles heel. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but your fucking teeth is da-da-da-da-da. Well, guess what, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> so everything good with you and Jodo or is still drama for life? Nah, nah. I, I actually respect Joe. Joe covered mm-hmm. the, the uh quality beef and he gave me a favorable mention. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I That's mean That's growth right there, cause Yeah, yeah. I I I I think he think cause I put up uh a clip of when uh him and Drake had that shit. I put it up because it was funny, and I just was, you know, it was part of the culture. And mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, there's a connection with me and him, but I, I definitely think that um, Joe Button has uh, figured out a pivot, which can't be denied. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And um, he's being himself and what he's doing. And I mean, you know, I could at least respect Joe because we actually had a fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We actually, he took what I had to give. I took what he had to give. We met up in Starlet's by accident and um we had a conversation and it was a grown man conversation. That's right. I always say that. You know Niggas what I'm sometimes fight and you gain respect for a the other level one. Of respect. Yeah. yeah, I might I might not like you. I might yeah, I mean but, but I respect the fact yeah. that you was about what you but, said but, but, and I was but, about but, what but, I but, said. But 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 <laughs> but I do have to say <laughs> Queens nigga, what you gotta say, nigga? I do gotta say his mascots I ain't fucking with them niggas. Oh. And the funny thing is just be like, look, like, here's my thing, right? You know what? I, I talked about this on my new album. I'm going to save a little bit of it. But here's my thing, like, with the whole niggas Lamy and all that wild shit, you know what I'm saying? It ain't really wild because for me it was like a high school fight, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because, you know, that's what it was. And uh, But niggas like to use my name, like, I just, I, I don't fuck with niggas trying to use my name. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, I don't fuck with niggas thinking that it's still a reality show. Like, nigga, in real life, you pussy. That's what it is. In real life, you pussy, my nigga. In real life, you two niggas is pussy. Because when you hitting me, because a nigga never had me ever saying, yo, you, I think we should have a conversation. I ain't, it's on, nigga, with me. Listen, you know what I'm for the record, I don't know who he's talking about. I'm trying to figure it out as we go. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out as we go, but they I don't birds. Know. That's why it don't even make no sense. I, I be like one nigga, one nigga, one nigga, one nigga be like, yo, I, yo, you know, don't don't listen to Vlad because he's trying to hype it up, and you know we got to stay together. And then uh, and then his white man and he's sitting right next to it, be like, yeah, consequence got on no jumper was talking about how he had me kicked out. I had you kicked out of Donda. I had. KK security run you out, bro. You got escorted out. Did niggas yell and scream and throw you out? Nah, because we spending too much money to be yelling and screaming. And that's what Don C told me. Cons, chill. That nigga's leaving now. And you know who you is, you bitch ass <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Yo, Cons. Yeah. What's, what's a money <laughs> commandment that you live by? Meaning, count some- it. <laughs> Back you like subscribe super thanks shout out to consequence for coming out Ooh. here queens get the money forever whoa ring that bell so you know when this episode drop it's real run them views up. remember for the new subscribers the new people that's the new what the new members, this is coming out early the bag fuel brigade sign up it's only five dollars a month. You ain't, you will not be disappointed, I promise you. We out.